anything else that they can add to their resume to really enhance, to really stand out to a medical client? Absolutely. I would just say, you know, get rid of the fluff, you know, get to the bottom line because a lot of these DORs and these lead SLP supervisors that are hiring for school districts even, they're getting a lot of resumes um, from, you know, from clinicians that have various um, setting experiences. And so what you want to do is you really want to highlight the things that are applicable to that particular setting or that par particular population. You know, get your, if you have your C's, make sure that that's at the top, right? Um, if you, if you have any certifications or CEUs that you've done, maybe even um, bullet point, you know, don't have paragraphs for each setting that you, um, or experience that you completed. Um, just highlight the things that you feel like are important that you would want to see if you were the DOR or that employer that's looking at your own resume. I love that. It, I always tell people, like, you want someone to look at your resume and without ever meeting you or knowing you, being able to brag about you for at yes. least three to five sentences. Like, yes. you want it to be so highlighted that that they don't need to search through, make any assumptions about what you did, or just be like, yeah, well, I can say the basics, like they worked in a school, they worked in a SNF. You want them to be able to get a feel for your standout qualities, whether it be different, you know, diagnoses that you specialize in or assessment procedures or leadership roles you've taken on. And so I love that idea. Like, Get rid of the fluff. Don't make people dig for it. Just make it so that someone can look at your resume and get to know you a little bit, like a storybook, a quick highlight reel of your life per se. 